All right, Miles, let's talk about the Pittsburgh Steelers here for a little bit. Now that we're in the middle of Super Bowl week, we're seeing the preeminent NFL franchise right now in terms of how well the rosters are built, talking about the Chiefs and the Eagles. But I think the Steelers really need to get a lot of credit because a lot of people last offseason really questioned a massive move they made. But now that we can take a step back, we know that the Steelers proved everybody wrong and made a really smart move here. Yeah, Nick. And, you know, speaking of Super Bowl, uh, we're going into Super Bowl week. The big game is going to be this weekend. I'm sure everyone will be watching it. So go ahead right now, Steelers fans, get your predictions in the comment below. What do you think the final score to the game will be this weekend between the Eagles and the Kansas City Chiefs? Let us know in the comments below. What do you think the final score is going to be? But Nick, what do you got on the Steelers? Yeah, so if we back uh, back up to last offseason, and specifically last NFL draft, the Steelers were one of four teams to draft a quarterback. Uh, obviously, them getting Kenny Pickett, the Atlanta Falcons got Desmond Ritter, the Carolina Panthers got Matt Corral, and um, the Tennessee Titans got Malik Willis. And there's something common coming out of the three other franchises, not Pittsburgh. I'll go these headlines out of, out of each one of them, starting with the Falcons. Lamar Jackson to Falcons just feels right. That's according to Sports Illustrated. C.J. Stroud is the apple of the Panthers' eye. That's according to USA Today. And finally, the Titans mentioned as a possible trade partner with the Bears for the number one overall pick to draft a quarterback. That's also according to Sports Illustrated. The Pittsburgh Steelers, Mice, are the only team last season that drafted a quarterback that doesn't have every major headline right now talking about them getting another quarterback. That tells you how right the Steelers were. And look, there's a lot of people that were proved wrong. You know, I, I was very high on Malik Willis. I do not look very smart right now. I was not very high on Desmond Ritter. I thought Kenny Pickett was better, even though the small hand complaint thing was kind of a stupid thing to bring up. But I still think Pickett much better than Ritter worked out there. There's a lot of good traits for Matt Crow coming out of the SEC. Some people find him to be really battle-tested, good leader, tough guy. But right now, a full year out, we can look out and say, yeah, the Steelers made the right move here. They proved everybody wrong because the other three franchises, the other three teams are doing everything they can to find another quarterback and the Pittsburgh Steelers are doing everything they can to build around their quarterback Mize, Don't you think the Steelers here look really smart, you know, avoid blacking out all the noise about Kenny Pickett's hands and all the other complaints and sticking with their guy here in the first round last year? Yeah, Nick, I think they did what we talk about all the time, especially if you go back to uh, the draft last season and watch a lot of our videos. They looked at the tape and they look how Kenny Pickett played on the field. They didn't look at the silly measurables and, you know, measurables are important, but sometimes uh, if it doesn't add up one to one, if Pickett had allegedly had small hands, but his play on the field was still really good, maybe those aren't a factor in his game. You know, maybe that's not so important. And when you go and watch Pickett's play on the field as a rookie quarterback, he did very, very well in an offense that I'd say isn't up to par yet. I think that this Steelers offense, offensive line, uh, all around the ball really uh, could be upgraded just a little bit. And give Pickett, you know, the absolute best that he could go with. But he had poise on the field, Nick. He was making the tough throws. He looked very composed all the time. I, I felt like he was always in the game. He didn't ever really seem overwhelmed to me. And that's very impressive for him to be a quarterback uh, in his rookie season in the NFL. That's something kind of hard to do. And at times as well. He had all of the things he wanted to see out of a young rookie. He had some of those wow throws. He has, he had, you know, you saw at times he made those drives where you're like, he's got the it factor. He can go down and win you a game if he needs to. So I, all in all, I really do think the Pittsburgh Steelers made the best pick for them. And I think it ended up being the best pick out of the draft as far as the quarterbacks go uh, from last offseason. It certainly looks that way now. And I remember going back last uh, last offseason pre-draft, you know, there's a lot of reports. Oh, Desmond Ritter looks like right guy, right head on his shoulder. He has the mentality to start early in his career in the NFL. And, and Ritter obviously did not. He was a late off, started late in the season, did not play well at all. Uh, nearly nearly not as well as Kenny Pickett did, in my opinion. A lot of people said, hey, Matt Corral, he's a real smart, savvy guy. You know, offense, Lane Kiffin, Ole Miss, really complicated. The first reports out of Carolina was that Matt Corral couldn't pick up an NFL offense. You know, a lot of people saying Malik Willis, physical tools, how will he do in the NFL? How will he translate? Anyone who watched the Titans play with Malik Willis last year, you have to say, well, he's not going to translate very well, at least not right now. Whereas Kenny Pickett, on the other hand, really kind of came in right away and executed the offense at a high level. Remember the preseason game where he had the game-winning drive against the Seahawks and, of course, everything that transpired over the course of the season. And it just goes to show, Mize, that the good organizations, the organizations that are run right and do things the right way, they don't miss on picks where they can't afford to miss. 
and get it when you're going quarterback early in draft when i say early in draft i usually think first two or three rounds because that's usually when a guy's expected to play a good bit you really can't miss badly right the new york jets miss really badly they stink right you look at teams like that the pittsburgh steelers once again proved they know what they're doing they're smartly run because the guy they went after the guy they chose kenny pickett does not stink. He looks like he's the franchise guy. And he proved a lot of people wrong. The Steelers did proved a lot of people wrong going with the guy they were searching from the very beginning and not falling in love with a Ritter or, or Willis or any of these other folks. I mean, just, I think it just goes to show this is a well-run uh, franchise, the Pittsburgh Steelers.